What up, Sailor Senshi? My name is Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are having another Mailbox Monday because that is how I live my life. Sitting at home, waiting for mail to come from Japan. Thank you so much to my mailman. I really appreciate you delivering my packages every day. You're really, really kind for doing so. But anyway, I have a slew of packages. I'm gonna try to lift these without showing anybody my address, but this is my slew of packages. These came from a whole bunch of different sellers online, which include eBay, as well as some Facebook auction groups for Sailor Moon specifically, as well as a local seller who I just happened to find online. So I'm gonna go ahead and break into each of these packages and show you exactly what I got. Okay, I need my knife as usual. If you're wondering about this insane knife that I like to carry around, I do carry it around. Uh, this is called a Kershaw blade and I got it off Amazon and it is so nice. It's super sharp and you should be very careful with it, but it's great for opening packages. So I tend to keep it with me at all times. Okay, I have everything out of the packages, so I'm going to go ahead and get ready. I think the first things I will show you are items that I got from some Facebook groups that I'm a part of. So each of these Facebook groups is basically for Sailor Moon fans and collectors to trade things or to sell and buy things. Uh, so that's basically what I did. So this first item is the Sailor Moon figural key ring and you can find this in all sorts of stores across America including Hot Topic, I believe it's a big one, as well as GameStop and you can also find them online. But these are less than 10 bucks each so they're really really popular with everybody and these do come in blind bags. This is the series two. I don't have any from the first series because well frankly they're not my favorite thing in the world but I did just want to get one from the series two options. So the one that I decided to purchase from a seller on Facebook is Super Sailor Moon. So that's the one that I got in here. Since these are blind bags, a lot of people recommend just kind of feeling around to try to determine which one you're going to get because of course, each of the characters in these bags has something very specific about them. Like Sailor Moon has the Odongos on top. Chibi Moon has the little, you know, triangles on top or whatever you want to call them. Sailor Pluto has a bun on the back of her head. So you can kind of try to figure out which one is in the bag based on that. But here is Super Sailor Moon and this is the first time I'm seeing her in person so I'm really excited. These are really cute actually in person. They look like they're well made. It looks like all the colors coordinate and there doesn't seem to be any issues with the coloring. Uh, the character itself is kind of bendable. It's made out of like a bendy plasticky type feel. Um, I thought they might be foam but they're not once I got it in person so it looks to be like a little plasticky. When you do get one of these make sure that the key ring stays away from the actual character because it can rub off on the keychain itself, which could be an issue, but it's a very, very cute keychain. It's still available in stores now, so you can totally purchase one of these in the blind bag if you just like that gamifying of it. Okay, so the second item I got from a Facebook group is basically just a little stationary binder. So this was about 10 bucks off of a girl on uh, Facebook. It is from 1994. It's one of those Nakayoshi items that people would get. Uh, so it's one of those cute little collectibles from the 90s. And basically on the inside, it has one of those like scrapbook entries on it so you can stick in more pieces of paper that are the same size as a little plastic ruler. There's also a little transparent cover which it looks like you can stick things in if you want to and then a series of papers and I think all the papers they have similar designs on them but none of them are well there's a few of them that are the same design overall. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it. So it's just a really cute little collector binder, which I'm probably never going to use, but I wanted to add it to my collection. <laughs> okay, what we got in here? Dang, this girl packaged these up. Whoa, girl. Whoa, girl, there's a lot of tape on these little items. I'm not the kindest person when it comes to opening package packages. I just like to get out. Okay, and ow. Word of advice, don't stab yourself like I just did. I'm just in a hurry. Whew, that was kind of a kind of crazy. That was a lot of packaging, ladies. Okay, so this last Facebook seller that I decided to buy from was a girl that was selling some of these petite chadas. So I decided since there's so many versions of the sailor characters in their scout uniforms as well as 
I believe in their school uniforms. I just decided to stick with the glitters of the Scouts. So these are three of the glitters. I got Chibi Moon, I got Usagi as Super Sailor Moon, and I got Tuxedo Mask. And Tuxedo Mask is so adorable with his little rose. These look really, really nice too. I'm really happy with the iridescent coloring on them. It looks like Sailor Moon has a little bit of wear to her bow, but not too much, which I'm not too concerned about because they were pretty inexpensive from the seller. And it looks like the rest of them are pretty much perfect. Oh, Tuxedo Mask does have a little mark on his back, so that's something to keep an eye out for. But yeah, you can usually find these on eBay and stuff, but I decided to buy them from the Facebook seller because it was cheaper. Also, Chibi Moon comes with a cute little Luna P and it's teeny tiny and I'm most likely going to lose that. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put it inside of Tuxedo Mask's hat for now until I can get them set up on my bookcase. So the next thing I got was a series of pins from different sellers. These are again fan art enamel pins. So these first ones are from Cosmic Skies Pins. I got a few from her. So the first one is a silhouette of, it looks like Princess Serenity, or no, that might be Neo Queen. Uh, I can't tell. She's standing right on top of a silver crystal and then there's a crescent moon around her and it's very, very pretty. Tons of glitter, so that's super cool. I also got a couple of little hearts. One says, I want to be a cat, which totally reminds me of one of my best friends. And the other one says, moon prism power makeup. So these are going to go on one of my pin boards back there once I get around to actually putting more pins up. The next one that I got is from Lulu Blue and this one is so, so pretty. She did a really, really good job designing this and it's basically an Instagram selfie uh, one of many that she's done I just decided to get the Usagi one but it's basically Usagi who's taking a picture with a little digital camera and it's set up like it's a little Polaroid or like an Instagram photo and at the bottom there's a little bunny and it says kawaii so of course, that means cute in Japanese. I also got this one that has nothing to do with Sailor Moon, but it's Rainbow Unicorn Ramen, and I just couldn't pass it up because it's adorable. So Lulu Blue, great job on your pins. They're adorable. The next one that I decided to get is from Cherry Magic Club, and this is of Usagi and Tuxedo Mask, and they're falling from the balcony. So this is, of course, from the anime as well as the manga. And it looks like I also got a bonus one. So thank you so much to Cherry Magic Club. That is so cool. I decided to go for the one that has a lilac umbrella and then it has a ton of glitter because I am all about that glitter life, yo. But it's adorable. It's very pretty and it's very, very big too. So hopefully it fits on my pin board. And the last pin that I decided to go for is one that was a Kickstarter campaign. I believe it was Kickstarter. Yeah, I think it was Kickstarter. So this one is from, what's her name? Anna. And she did a Kickstarter for these really cute cupcake sailor senshi so i got the sailor moon one oh it's so pretty wow that looks really good so she has really pretty gold metal and then it's sailor moon's colors and of course it has a cute little sailor moon bow in the middle and it also has the three little hairpins up at the top and she also sent a sticker with it so that's awesome because i'm i love stickers and i'm going to put that on my laptop or something but this is from celestial fox and it's the sailor moon cupcake pins and I believe you can find them online pretty soon if not already. Okay the last one in my fan made grouping of products that I received in the mail is this amazing little design. This comes from what's the name? Sugar Bones. So this one comes from Sugar Bones. It is not a pin, it's actually a keychain. So from Sugar Bones, she created a couple of hotel keys and I decided to get the one that's for the Crystal Palace. She also has like a Dark Kingdom uh, key as well. But it, on the front it says Crystal Palace. Under that it says Crystal Tokyo and Crystal Tokyo. Although Tokyo should probably be in kanji, but it says Crystal Tokyo right underneath it in katakana. And then under that, it has a room number and the room number is 220. I don't know what that room number 220 coincides with as far as the anime or manga goes. Hopefully somebody recognizes it, but maybe it was a random number that she chose. Anyway, I love this. It is really nice and durable. It's really big, as you can tell when I put my hand up next to it. So it's pretty huge. And I actually got two of them. So I was thinking maybe I would do a giveaway of one of these keychains. I've been kind of collecting a bunch of stuff around my Sailor Moon collection to do a big giveaway. So I'm thinking maybe when I hit 500, I'll do a giveaway. So if you aren't subscribed yet, 
definitely subscribe and I'll do a giveaway at 500. I think that would be awesome. And this Crystal Palace keychain will be a part of that giveaway. So that's gonna go in the giveaway box. There we go. And the rest is for me. Okay, we're down to the last few items in my mailbox Monday today. And the first one is from Australia. Okay, so you probably already know what this is if you saw the top of the package, but it's Makoto Kino. So it is one of the world uniform operation figures that I have been trying to collect as much as possible. She was the cheapest one that I saw on eBay because she was out of the box. However, the seller did keep the original box, which is great. They also had Amy too, but I missed that one and I'm so upset about that, but that's okay. At least I got Makoto. So she usually runs around 300 bucks on eBay now, which is incredibly crazy. The one that I got was, I think I ended up getting her around 100 bucks because I sent in a best offer and they actually accepted it, which was awesome. Uh, the only reason why she was so inexpensive other than she's out of the box is because there's a purple mark on here, like from a magic marker or something. And I don't know if I can get it off. I don't think I can, but who's gonna see a little purple mark on the stand? Like I, I really don't care about the purple mark at all. So I'm going to go ahead and stick her on her stand and put her with the others. This officially means that I have all of them except for Amy. So I'm still looking for Amy. She's so freaking rare, unfortunately, but Makoto looks beautiful. It looks like she doesn't have any issues with the coloring or the painting. Uh, it looks like all the colors are accurate and she doesn't seem to have any scuffs or anything like that, which is wonderful. So the only issue is that little mark on the stand. So I, I'm totally fine with that. So yay, I finally got that world uniform figure. All right, the second to last item I got from a Facebook seller, and this is quite simply one of the clear files. I didn't have this clear file yet, but I'm trying to collect all the coupon items from the previous uh, collaborations that I missed out on. So this is a really, really pretty clear file. It looks just like the tote bag that I also received and it has pretty gold text at the top. It also has all of the Sailor Senshi on the front with their really cute little cute pot costumes. And then on the back, it has kind of a see-through blue image as well as all the cute little macaroon versions of the Sailor Senshi transformation brooches and transformation wands. And then on the center, it says Q-Pot Sailor Moon. So that's a very, very cute clear file. And it looks like she took excellent care of it before sending it out. So I'm really happy about that. And the very last item for today, and I am so excited about this. I found this from a local eBay set seller, which I was very excited about because I just reached out to her and I was like, hey, BT Dubs, I'm actually really close by. So do you want to just meet up in person? And she was like, yeah, sure, whatever, that's fine. So I met her like on the way to work and she uh, dropped off the package for me. And I was able to check it in person and make sure that it was legit. But this is the Luna bag that is extremely rare nowadays and it is the legitimate one so now i have a bootleg and a legitimate one so i can show you both of them side by side so you know how to purchase one that is actually real and not make the, make the mistake that i did and end up getting a bootleg in the mail so this is a very very pretty bag it was originally a little over a hundred dollars usd uh, so whatever that ended up being in yen uh, it has a really pretty crescent moon on the front it has the luna ears on the back and they're nice and stiff so they won't bend or anything like that it has a pretty leather exterior all around it's got the little buttons on the bottom to keep the bottom from getting dirty it looks like she took great care of it i don't see any scuffs except for one little one on the side which i'm not too worried about and then the inside has the luna and artemis print on it so i'll do a whole second video about how to compare this one to a bootleg so that you know exactly what to look for she also included both the receipt as well as the little tag that came with it so this has the original toy sticker on it and it also has where it's from and everything which should, should come with any of these bags that you get if they're Samantha Vega bags so you should get one of these with your bag no matter what all right so that is everything from my mailbox Monday this week I hope you enjoyed it I'm really excited about everything that I got today let me know what your favorite item is and if you want to see this bootleg versus real Sailor Moon uh, Luna bag online since these are so hard to find nowadays for decent prices. I'm really excited that I got this for a decent price and I didn't have to spend 
$800 on eBay, which is stupid ridiculous, and I wasn't going to do that anyway. Um, but yeah, I had a lot of fun unpacking all of these. It feels like Christmas up in here, so I should probably clean up and get some B-roll, and I will see you next time. Thank you so much. Bye!